Wow. That's beautiful, Kevin. Thank you very much. Beautiful. That's really Once beautiful. Once again, I appreciate it. Yeah. Tell us about the shoe and how you're using this to raise money and awareness. Oh, this was burning in my head for so long. I said, I have to get this on film. That's one reason I came down here. So I, I talked to Brian Wimmer. And um, we met at the Mud House. And I said, well, J uh, Brian, uh, I barely knew anybody in town. I said, uh, Brian, what can I do for this much money? And he said, not, not much. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Brian. But I had met Johnny St. Ors on an uh, industrial video shoot that Brian had shot. And uh, I've heard of Erica Arvold. And I have heard of, so then Johnny told me about Stephen Thomas of Film and Productions, a great sound guy here in town. And eventually I got everyone, Boomy Pedersen of the Hamlet Theater, who's also in the film, we got uh, a young lady, a young man, uh, Eamon Highland and Liana McAvoy, and we read them there, we, so she helped me cast it. And eventually came together. My sister Eileen Swenson is the executive producer. Ah. She came down and, from Connecticut where she lives and, uh, and helped out very much. So we got all local people, of course, and we shot out in the Rockfish Valley in Nelson County. And we were blessed. We had a 5.30 a.m. shoot, and we had this just wonderful fog, just enough fog where the girl yeah. came over the hill, oh, and the sun gorgeous. burnt it off gorgeous. later. And then we had beautiful blue skies with just enough clouds, and then we had a red ball at sunset. So we did that all in one day. Oh. And the next day, we shot the interior that you see in black and white in the film. Was that at the Hamner? At, at the Hamner. Right. So Boomy Pedersen did yeoman work, and uh, all the local people, John, uh, John Michael Sang Wheeler, who's my editor, and assistant cameraman, he's done wonderful work for me. And everybody's been, the people who have seen it locally have been very, very kind in their feelings toward it. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. Well, I heard you had awesome food and director's chairs for the important people in the show. Yeah, quickly, that's one thing I wanted to do, John. You know, I wanted to get director's chairs. People named the Broyer that, except for the director, because I couldn't afford one. So, uh, so the actors and Johnny and my sister got, all got chairs, and we had really good food. <laughs> Larry Hugo's wife, who Larry was the gaffer, uh, Carol Ann did it. Uh, I just thought that was important. I wanted it to be professional. And it, it just raised the level up, even if it was yeah. for two days. You know, John? Yeah. And uh, People and, will remember that, for sure. Well, yeah, I had someone tell me, Kevin, you, you raised the bar in independent shoots. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, for two days, I understand. But still, it's nice to hear. You know? yeah. So you're going you're gonna to use this to raise awareness? or yeah. And money, right? We hope so. Yeah, Boomy, uh, Boomy Pedersen, uh, February 18th, this Friday, February 18th, 19th, and 20th at the Hamna Theater at 7.30. It's called The V Project, Eve Ensler. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but sh she invited a bunch of well-known writers, and they all added monologues and some regular people. It's, it's wonderful writing. Uh, men and women will be reciting these readings, and I'm going to show the film at the beginning and perhaps do a song from the film at the end. It'll bookcase it. But that'll be at the Hamna Theater, and that's for Shelter. Leah Calvani. Its shelter is an organization that has a safe house, a house for battered women. And their children, right? And their right? children to go to. So we're going to raise money for them. And then at the Jefferson on Wednesday, February 23rd at 8, 8 a.m., uh, pardon me, 8, 8 p.m., uh, Margaret Mickelson is the executive director. And right. Sarah is Sexual Assault uh, Re uh, Resource Agency, I believe. That's right. And it helps prevent child sexual abuse and so forth. And that's for all the, the, the money that we raise at the Jefferson on February 23rd, Wednesday. We'll be going to Margaret's uh, very most human and wonderful group. That is Sarah. so wonderful. That's the one. And, and what I love about your story, the, the healing, is that Boomi's character, the mother, represents shelter. Sort of from That's the correct. abuse, domestic, right? Domestic violence abuse. And the daughter sort of represents Sarah. The the she was the yes. Victim. That's her secret, right? And the boy and represents the kind man. of unconditional love, hope. faith, and healing. There's hope for that. See, that's all their three secrets. The mother has the secret about did one of my loves abuse my daughter, and the daughter has her secret that she was abused and she's a, she loves the young man, but she's afraid if he finds out, he won't love her. And the boy's secret, the young man's secret, is that he loves the girl. But if he lets her know, he won't be loved back. So everybody, everybody all of us secrets. have our own yeah. secrets. It's like... It's very human. Uh, yeah, it's very human. It's, it's beautiful. like trying that door you think is locked so you don't bother turning it. Yeah. And then you turn it to find out it's, it's open. Been, it's you been always up. have to try the door. Uh, <laughs> always try the door. <laughs> so this was one segment of 12. Yes. Ten. This is a part of a... Not a feature film, but a cable movie, DVD. There's 12 writings, 12 songs. So there could be 12 music videos, if you will. Yeah. But this will be, and I'll sh I'm going to shoot it all in here, Virginia. It's going to take place on a river. 
or the valley oh, behind the river. Oh, that's going to be so beautiful. Yeah, I want the valley behind the river because you know we know where that comes from. Yeah, yeah. It's going to open with the reflection of the boy, the man's shadow on the water. I think it's stunning. Come up there. I, I, I've just been so um, curious about your project s since the first time you brought it up at a Filmmakers Republic meeting, and I'm so glad that, that you've made it I happen. I remember that. Thank you yeah, very much. When you first pitched it, and th th you know, you're a doer. That's right. And now you have, it in, you know, have something in the can, and, and it's growing. So I really, we really appreciate what you're doing. It's a, it's a wonderful thing. You keep well, doing yeah. what you're doing. Thank you both, John and Lana, for having me on. Yeah. I've been to your Facebook page. You guys are doing good. Congratulations on this. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very you. much. You also impersonate people like you. He, so, so Kevin came to the Colonnades, and uh, it's a senior living community, and he did uh, Mark Twain. And then he followed that up with Charles Dickens, and uh, he's a hit over there. And I bet they you got love more you. in there, too. Yeah, and I got away with Mark Twain with no hair in the middle of my head there, so how good is that? Not with everybody you didn't. That's right. <laughs> I, I, I talked about that a little. I did a little Twainism about that. Yeah, that was great. Well, we really thank appreciate you, John, it a lot. You're, yeah, you're sure. definitely you. a wonderful addition to Charlottesville, and, yeah. and we're happy that you're our friend. And uh, anything we can do to help you spread the word? You are, Let us you're, know. You're doing it tonight, and uh, thank you again very much. It's Thanks, a real Kevin. pleasure. Thank you're you. Welcome. Thank John, you. John, thank you. So stay tuned, everyone. We have a special segment following. We have uh, John M. doing a little rove reporting out at the Colonnades, talking to one of our very special American treasures, Dorothy Glor, who was uh, is a veteran of the Second World War. Yeah. Incredible. The first lieutenant in the Army Nurses Corps. She was a, a local resident, plucked right from our University of Virginia Medical woman. Center. It's, it's an incredible story. You are going to love it. And she's, she's heartwarming, she's beautiful, and uh, she's, got, she's got something really beautiful to tell you. So stay tuned to wa watch the American treasure, yeah. Dorothy Glore. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.